still under quarantine and you want a delicious breakfast that will impress your family, this is two eggs and this is an egg souffle. What a beautiful, romantic dish to have. Making a souffle egg is simple and easy. I'm starting out with a stand mixer, two eggs, a small bowl, and your pan is going to be important. Here, I have a stainless steel pan. You can use a cast iron pan or a non-stick pan. We're gonna start off with the eggs. We need to separate them. So we're going to put the egg white and we're gonna mix all the egg whites together. Yolk separated, egg white in the bowl. Let's put all this together. Now, if you don't have a mixer, you can use a whisk. And of course, we're gonna beat this until it forms a soft peak. Now, this has formed a stiff peak, okay? We're going to move this out of the way. We're just going to add the egg yolks. And of course, I've already beaten them. And you're just going to gently fold. We want all the fluffiness. And keep all the air up in the mixture. I'm also gonna add a pinch of salt, just a little. And at this point, you can decide whether you want uh, cheese, a Belchamé sauce, or to top it with maybe some vegetables. Now this is ready. Now on the oven, excuse me, on the stove, I have my pan ready. I have preheated uh, my oven to 350. My confection oven is preheating. And of course, I have set it to 350. This is gonna be an important part. If you don't have a convection oven, something smaller, then you can use your oven. Now the aisle is on medium low. Remember, always with stainless steel pans, give it a couple of minutes to warm up before you put anything in it. And that will always ensure that your food item don't stick. And of course, you're just going to simply place beautiful, fluffy. I'm just going to gently work it around the pan. Now let's talk about cooking option. If you like your egg more on the raw side, then you can omit the um, convection oven. If you like your eggs um, more on the firm side, you want the convection oven. You can also use Belchamé sauce at this time. It is perfect to put over your um, souffle eggs. So we're just going to let that sit and slowly brown up underneath. Okay guys, this is the hardest part to tell when it's time to flip. 
And of course, you can sort of see that it's nice and brown underneath. At this point, I take it off the oven and it's going to go, let's see if we can get this right. We're going to put that I am going to set the pan inside. Now about two minutes at the maximum that you want to put this in. Um, and this will sort of cook the top of it. It's been about a minute and a half. And of course, let's look at the egg. It's still fluffy, but it's not tacky. So it's just about done. I don't like mine it's overcooked. Some people like it more raw on the inside, not me. And of course, this is the great part. Let's get this taken out. And of course, we wanna gently, gently flip. Isn't that pretty? And let's get that into a plate. And there you have it. This is a souffle egg for all of you that has requested the recipe. Beautiful, soft, jiggly, perfect for Beltrame sauce or a vegetable sauce, saute mushrooms, Excellent dish.